Hello video maniacs of all shapes, sizes, and colors. This is Practice Dummy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install mods for Subnautica Below Zero. It recently came out in the first official version, so, you know, we shouldn't have to worry about uh, growing pains concerning the beta releases and whatnot, because it was in beta for quite a while. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'll have the links in the description below. Uh, the first thing you need to do if you have not already have an account set up, uh, create for yourself a free account with the Nexus site. Uh, the first uh, link will be good enough to get you onto the Nexus site. And if you haven't got an account, go ahead and create one. It is free. Uh, there's a premium version that allows for faster downloading, but that kind of only applies to you a bit if you're you know, looking to download some massive graphics mods. Otherwise, the free version, most of the mods download in a short amount of time as is. So uh, go ahead and create you an account with the Nexus mod site if you have not already. Okay, there are three essential mods that you have to download first. Uh, the first one is QMod Manager. And what you want to do is you want to go to the files and for ease of use, uh, download the EXE version of this. And go ahead and click on the manual download. And then click slow download unless you got the premium account. And then just save the file uh, to you know, a designated folder for your mods. Now again, this and two other mods, uh, you want to separate them from the rest because you want to install these first. All right, uh, the QMod Manager, you got that downloaded. The second um, utility mod you need to download is called SML Helper Zero. And so uh, you click on the link down below. I'll have it down in the description. Go ahead and click on files and click on manual download. And it'll say additional files required. Don't worry about that because we're going to install them in the proper order. Click on slow download unless you got premium. And then go ahead and save up that. Now the last utility mod we need to download is called version checker. Version checker is required by certain mods and you might as well just download it and install it. And essentially just what it does is it checks for newer versions of mods that you have installed. So go ahead and click on the files tab, click on manual download, and ignore that. Uh, that just tells you what you need before you can actually use this particular uh, file. Click down, uh, slow download and go ahead and save it up. Okay, now uh, go to the folder where you have the, uh, the mods uh, downloaded into. In my case, I put in a special folder for uh, three um, uh, utility mods. Now the QMod Manager will be in an EXE file format, so you know that'll be a, um, um, a wizard uh, installer and then the next thing you want to do is go ahead and go to uh, the uh, uh, folder where the game fo uh, folder is at. In my case, you know, go into C drive, look for Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and Subnautica Zero. And now you should have a folder called Q Mods. If for some reason you don't have a folder called Q Mods, uh, you can go ahead and create one either by manually creating a folder and label it capital Q, capital M, ODS, or just start up Subnautica Below Zero once and it'll create the folder for you. Now, the thing we'll go ahead and do is first we're going to install QMod Manager. So go ahead and click on the executable file. And then what you do is you go through the wizard. Now, um, uh, the w going through the wizard is pretty much uh, self-explanatory. Just make sure that the, uh, uh, the location of the file is shown here as it is with me. If not, you click on browse and then it will bring up a, a window and you go find to wherever your game folder 
is install that. And afterwards, you click Next. Everything should be check marked. That should be a check mark, so to speak. It looks like an X. And then go ahead and click on Install. Now, I've already installed this myself. So um, uh, you uh, won't see me complete that, but go ahead and run through it. Now, the one thing is um, with the QMod Manager, and I'm not sure about the SML Helper, but when you install the QMod Manager, your antivirus program or Windows Defender might throw an exception. Um, with Windows Defender, it'll show up a window screen, and towards the upper left, there's a link that says uh, Learn More. So you click on that, and then you have a button below towards the bottom right that says allow to run or allow run once you go ahead and click on that and it'll allow the QMod manager to finish the installation okay after all is said and done and after you've gone through you know if you get that uh, Windows Defender or your antivirus you know thrown up an alert and bypassing that and go ahead and click on finish and that should take care of that now we're going to go with SML Helper and go ahead and unzip it. And then what you want to do is go into your QMods uh, folder and you can copy or cut and paste the SML Helper and paste it into the QMods folder. Go ahead and keep the QMods folder because that's all you'll need from here on out and then you copy it into there. As you see, I've already got other mods installed into there. Now, after you've done SML Helper, uh, go ahead and extract the version checker. And it'll also be in a folder. So you can cut and paste or copy and paste and place it into the QMods folder. Now, all you need to do is, you know, download all the, uh, the mods you want uh, from the uh, Nexus uh, site. And it's the same thing. Uh, you download the zip file, you extract the zip file, and you'll get a folder that shows up. Then you copy or cut and paste over into the QMods folder. I have not run across the mod that requires any special treatment. Uh, all the mods that I've downloaded for myself all extract at, into a, uh, in, as a folder and then you just cut or copy and paste the folder into the QMods folder. And that's all you have to do in order to run your mods for Subnautica Below Zero. Okay, I hope that's helped you one and all on this. I uh, apologize for being so long since I've done mods last, or a mod video last. Most of it was I was trying to do a mod video for Tomb Raider 2 uh, to install some graphics mods. But for some reason, uh, the mods that I had no longer worked. And the only mods I found are for the mobile version of Tomb Raider 2. I will be coming back to that sooner or later, so I'm going to try to get a video up for that, but i got to do some intense searching to see if I can find the mods for the PC version of Tomb Raider 2. I also was trying to install mods for um, the uh, Bioshock series, but they don't have any mods that are really worth uh, going through the trouble of installing for the games. I mean, the games are pretty much fine as is, as far as it goes. So. I played through the trilogy, got through that, and just couldn't think of the uh, next game to go to. And then a friend of mine suggested Subnautica Below Zero since the first official version came out recently. So I um, hope this uh, video has helped you out, and I am going to be looking to do some more mod videos here in the near future. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give Subnautica Below Zero a little bit of, uh, of a run and I'll probably get hooked in it just like you will. All right, take care one of all. God bless you.